Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we are talking about another variety of Crassula called as Crassula Baby Necklace. It's an extremely beautiful succulent. I have put it in level easy uh, because it's pretty easy to grow this succulent. Uh, but you have to keep in mind the basic care requirements which we are going to be talking in this video. Uh, now don't go according to the color of this right now because it was in its growing period. Crassula is a winter growing succulent very soon during the summers it is going to get into its dormant period pretty much all the varieties of Crassula will get into its dormant period and then the colors are going to look even more vibrant uh, the reds on this the edges will turn bright red in color whereas the remaining part of the succulent is going to have this slightish yellow to green in color extremely beautiful succulent uh, very easy to take care but you have to ensure that uh, you follow the certain guidelines when it comes to soil ensure that your soil is loose porous and well draining letting the roots to grow properly in the soil the roots are very delicate they need a good amount of space to grow you cannot afford to use a very compact soil watering is only when you tend to see that the soil is completely bone dry you can go ahead and water the succulent uh, now there is an important thing about the succulent when you buy the succulent when it has newly uh, come to your place ensure that you do not put it out in direct sunlight give it some time uh, let it get acclimated to your new environment to the soil to your watering it has to get completely adapted and then you can do a slow introduction to the sun most probably when you get it in male it would be slightly green in color you won't be having those vibrant colors it's absolutely fine as in when your succulent is getting adapted to the new environment the colors will start slowly coming up even during the winters at times the colors tend to fade it's absolutely fine that is what the growing season is all about the colors will appear as and when the succulent starts getting dormant and as it starts entering into the dormant season as i said the watering uh, ensure that you do not over water it otherwise it will get rotted especially the stem is very thin it will get rotted do not keep it under watered for a very long time again the stem will get dried so you have to be extremely careful now when this plant turns mature when it is uh, completely acclimated and adapted to your environment uh, you might have seen a lot of people keeping this uh, succulent in direct afternoon sunlight this is possible only when the plant is completely adapted and acclimated to the new environment or to your environment you can then slowly introduce to afternoon direct sunlight but if you have a very newly purchased succulent or a very small one like this please do not put it out in afternoon direct sunlight the leaves will get burnt so let it be at least for a year for maybe for two years once you have this completely adapted to your environment then you can put it out in afternoon direct sunlight because a lot of people have this variety in afternoon direct sunlight and it tends to do quite well now i wouldn't say it's a very fast growing succulent it grows at a slow pace just like any other succulent uh, during the growing period give it good amount of uh, nutrition if you want uh, do not add too much you can go for a liquid based fertilizer probably you can add fertilizers once a month or once in two months during the winter season uh, during the growing period but during summers do not add any kind of fertilizers now mealybugs are not much of an issue because the leaves of this succulent are very thick uh, they usually do not get affected with mealybugs as you can see uh, the leaves are not very fleshy but they are very thick so it becomes little difficult for the mealybugs to try to suck up any kind of juice from these uh, succulents uh, these tend to grow vertically but as and when they start becoming really huge they will start trailing downwards right now they are really small so they start growing vertically but once they grow at a huge size they will start bending downwards they will start trailing because they can no longer hold the weight of the stem or of the leaves and then they start trailing downwards it's an absolutely beautiful succulent if you are a beginner you can definitely add it in your collection the only issue with this succulent is uh, usually when this succulent comes in male uh, it takes some time for the succulent to get adjusted to the new environment and a lot of beginners they tend to kill the succulent uh, because and it's not the fault of the beginners or of people who are just starting with succulents the issue usually happens with the succulent it is not able to adapt to the new environment and a lot of time it tends to perish but try to give it a good amount of care do not put it out in direct sunlight right away keep it in indirect sunlight for a week maybe for two weeks 
if the colors fade it's absolutely fine the colors will come back what's important is that the succulent is still alive that's more important if the colors fade they will come later on this succulent can be easily propagated uh, via stem cutting or by separating the offsets as you can see uh, now i did not have much luck with leaf propagation but leaf propagation is also possible when we talk about leaf propagation uh, you can just chop it off like this like this one leaf you can chop it off but i would suggest don't go for it because it's little difficult and it takes a very long time for them to put out those new pups they generally start putting out like this how you see the new growth over here they will start putting out uh, new pups but ideally what i tend to do is i either cut off the stem or i separate the offsets once they reach like a good size and then i go ahead and separate so i wouldn't advise to do a leaf propagation which is also possible but it takes a lot of time and at times they don't turn out to be successful because there's a lot of care intensive care that you need to give but the best way is either you just chop off any part of this over here or you can separate the offsets it works out pretty much well uh, i had also done a stem cutting some time back i have just watered it because it's little dehydrated and uh, this is how it tends to look like like the stem cuttings work out really fast you can see uh, the stem cutting was done and now where the portion where i had done the stem cutting uh, it will not have a continuous growth just like any other succulent the pups will start growing around it so it looks extremely beautiful you can see the stem was slightly dry so i went ahead and watered it in the uh, afternoon and now it's doing quite well the soil is uh, pretty much wet right now so these are all of the pups that will start growing around the cut area extremely easy to do it via stem cutting leaf propagation is going to take ages so i would suggest uh, go for a stem cutting that is going to turn out much easy uh, you can cut any part over here as you can see there will be some gaps in between like over here as you can see you can just chop this part off and then there will be a lot of growth around it not the continuous growth like this so you will not have the continuous growth but you'll have pups as you can see over here you're going to have pups in the side that are going to grow like that but you won't have the continuous growth kind of spoils the look of the succulent but then if you want to multiply faster then that is one of the best option you can go for so pretty much a very easy to grow succulent nothing much to be worried um, as i said you have to just be little careful in the initial stage when you just get the succulent your more focus should be on making the succulent get adapted to the new environment rather than getting worried about the color colors can come anytime most important thing is the succulent getting adapted to the new environment uh, just give it the basic care requirements of soil watering and light do not keep it indoor unless you have a good quality of grow light if you're going to keep it if you're not going to give it the adequate amount of light then it will definitely start stretching so right now as you can see it's very compact but as soon as uh, it lacks light this is this is the gap that you can see it's going to have gap in every leaf and it's going to look very terrible so you do not want to get there just give it the good amount of light either morning direct sunlight for 5 to 6 hours after acclimation or you can give it indirect bright light if you're going to give it indirect bright light then there won't be those bright red colors it is going to have the minimal colors the colors are only possible when it's given a good morning direct sunlight So guys I hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating